Hello, so this is a little bit about sending an email um, from Tables in Postgres through Adam Pierre using uh, Eclipse um, to use the Java code in Eclipse. So a little bit of background, you see the XCMOMs right here, these are generated by this generate model CMOM3. If we go to run configurations, right here you see CMOM3, you have your arguments, it's using the JRE6. Note you do not want to use JDK, you want to have your JRE6 downloaded. That's that, and then we also have an Adam Pierre. Generate uh, model is what puts the XC moms there, and then Adam Pierre is how we're about to run Adam Pierre. So we click run. Now we can log in the system. system. Administrators, and then if we go to application dictionary I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about configuring default logic and then we go to window tab and field and then tabs um, right here and then we go CMOM field down here and for instance start time or start date. We click here. If we want to use default logic, as I have down here, at date at. So whatever the current date is, it's automatically gonna show up there as the date. Now um, you could do that for all of them or the user could enter the other ones, but default logic automatically enters a certain value in it. So that's default logic. Now, the next thing we want to look at is generating a model, which um, I just showed you. But the way you do that is you actually have to have your um, two tables. So this window that I just had up, um, this window is for the CMOM3. Um, it has both tabs, which are CMOM3 and CMOM3 participants line. These two tabs are what we're going to generate the model when we do click that generate model thing that I just showed you. Our next step is to modify the hooks. Um, the hooks are all um, in the code. If we go to mmom, mmom is um, general um, code to actually automatically update a or send out an email whenever it's saved. And so we had this code right here. Um, and since I'm using CMOM3, everything says CMOM3. Um, and then this after save is one of the hooks um, that is very important because this is after you save it, um, then uh, it'll re-update. So it looks for the save. That's kind of the catch with the hook. And um, so we have all this. This um, excludes all the extra stuff that's unneeded and gets strictly to... Um, the stuff I'm using, and you can see this is where we actually get the name, and then uh, get the agenda, um, and then there's the after save again, and that'll actually print out, um, and then email to our professor, and that's about it. Now notice this user ID. Um, and notice how this is a private right here. Um, now we're going to jump over to our last step, which is uh, creating a process. When you use code, whether it be Java or C++, and you're using class types, there's private and public. Um, those are your two main class types. And so using this AD user ID, we can, um, this code right here is actually going to try and get the AD user ID. You see... Um, right here, m underscore ad user id. It's looking for the user id, and it actually was trying to pull out from the private the information, and that was creating a Java Lang error. So if that's something you're experiencing, um, you can actually just put in that value that we saw before 101, which references the garden admin id or garden user id, and um, so then when you actually give it a number, the rest of the code will pile correctly. But if it's trying to search for it, it won't work. 
and this is just all the code that you can get from the cookbook on um, how to do this uh, third part and I'm going to show you actually how it works so pull back up Adam Pierre and this is my CMOM 3 as I've uh, slightly shown you I have the system done which is the first part of it and this is the um, well, I'm in system right now so if I logged out and went to garden admin um, you can actually see the all the code so we have menu and partner relations are uh, this is just how the background to the code um, for system admin client rules this is going to be me the client um, I set myself up in garden world and um, and then general rules this is where we're going to find our user which one of them is going to be me um, I set two different users for our professor uh, this right here is me uh, my information and then this is the garden user who uh, is supervised by me and you just put in the garden user email address which is our professor and then that's where I put in the user ID um, just as a reference and then um, we can exit out of this and when we go down to send mom mail open this up and I have a few different ones um, when we click in this using garden admin it'll show up a little bit differently than when we did system you see all the different ones that I was working on um, now that I finally got to send this is my updated code and um, this is our participant that we or who we're trying to send it to my professor and you just go here and you jumped on me click on send my mail and I would do learn and leave if I want to send it to the professor or I could do any of these and um, do test two, start and I don't actually know who test two sends to. Yes, it's me. So I didn't just send my professor another one. He's already had enough. And um, said so I'll just send an email right to me. And um, right now telling them what the updated code is. So that's another cool feature. And all right. I believe that's everything. Thank you.